Show and I'm Steve and today we're going to do a how-to session that's going to be how to load cards in the Evelis Privacy Printer and um, before as we always do we're going to have at the end of the show the bad photo idea of the day and before we get started here on the how-to segment I want to talk a little bit about this printer this is an Evelis Privacy Printer it's made for medium and long run so it's a production machine you can get it as either single-sided or dual-sided and it can print up to 210 cards per hour in color and 850 monochrome, meaning one color. Um, comes with USB and Ethernet as standard and it also has an optional uh, Wi-Fi, which is unique in the industry. I don't know of any other printer that has a Wi-Fi uh, connection at this point. Um, Three-year warranty and it uses one-fifth the energy of previous generations of printers. Uh, it is Energy Star rated so saving energy is a big thing and this is a great way to do it with this printer so as i mentioned we're going to show you how to and it's going to be how to load the cards in the Evelis primacy printer to help us is kyle from our tech department show us how to do it kyle thanks steve um so before we load our cards and uh, just kind of go over just the input and output, output hoppers um, just some tips and tricks to keep your cards uh you know free from sticking it's just to fan the edges of the of the cards before you put them in, um, try not to handle the like the face of the cards, um, as that will actually seal in um, any fingerprints you may leave on the card. Um, so, loading the cards, um, the top part right here is the card hopper, and this bottom part right here is the card output hopper. So right now we're just going to focus on this top part right here. Um, there is no card weights. The card weights built into the into the um, lid of the of the card hopper, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, right here is your card gate. So if you are printing a thicker or thinner card than the standard 30 mils, um, you would adjust that accordingly. Um, loading the cards are really easy. You just simply place them in. Um, there's really not much to it. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just close the lid. And over here, it should register that your cards are loaded. Um, something to note too, if you're doing any special encoding, um, there's just a little tiny diagram. I'm sure you won't be able to see it here. It's just right here to the right of the roller, um, just telling you how to orientate your cards into the machine. Um, that way you don't have to sit there and play the guessing game. Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, unloading cards is very simple. It's just a magnetic lid. Um, the output hopper can hold 100 cards as well as the input hopper, um, so you don't have to babysit it quite as often. Um, yeah, it's very simple. Um, the cards will get pulled out by a little by a little gripper here and make it kind of easy for you just to pull all your cards out. All right. Thanks, Kyle. As I mentioned earlier, here's the bad photo idea of the day, and while you're looking at that, um, if you have a question, submit it to us on our Facebook page at idedge.com. You can call us at 800-798-3343. And as you can see, we can help you pick this printer that is best for you, what you're wanting to accomplish. So give us a call. We're very helpful and have great pricing and look forward to hearing from you.